I just got back from doing a food job and also picked up some packages. Which I will do an unboxing of if this video isn't too long. Let me get my notes up. So, today's video is going to be my October reading wrap-up. I didn't read uh, that many books. Also, I only have two physical books with me because the rest I took home because I kind of have a system because obviously I'm living at uni most of the time. So when I go home, I take the books I've read home and bring back ones that I haven't read here. So then I'll read them. So, we've only got... I'll do the two physical books I have first. I'll start with Twilight just because you... I can't... I feel like I can't rate Twilight. It's the same as you don't rate like Harry Potter. You just don't rate them, you know? It's one of them. So this book, can I just say though, if they'd made Edward in the movie, like Edward in this, it would have been so much better. Like obviously we always love Robert Pattinson. We love Robert, always. But if he'd have been like this in the, in the movie, it would have been amazing, but no. They did them so dirty. Even Bella's better in this. Like, she has a personality. She's not just, like, a piece of spinach. Do you know what I, like... But that was um, the last book I think I read in October, I'm pretty sure. And then the other physical book I have with me is Riley Sager, um, The House Across the Lake. So, let me get... What did I say about this? Okay, so I gave it a 4 out of 5. I'm not sure. I think it might be more of, like, a 3.75. I'm not sure. I'm very indecisive. I'll change my mind like a million times. We've got our main girl, Casey. She's an actress. Her mum's a famous actress. And her husband died, which sent her into being an alcoholic. And then she got loads of bad press. And so her mum sent her away to the lake house, which is where her husband died. So I don't see how that's meant to help. But anyway, she gets sent to this lake house, the house across the lake. They've got some new, some new neighbors. Would you call them neighbors? Yeah, neighbors. Um, and so we've got Catherine, who's a model, and Tom. Um, who's like some tech guy. Then Catherine goes missing. We already know this. And Casey thinks it's Tom. So the whole book is like Casey investigating Tom. But there's about a million twists and turns. And they are really good plot twists. They are. Which is why I kind of think it might be a four star. Because I didn't guess hardly any of them. And there's a bit of like paranormal stuff in there as well. So because she's an alcoholic, she's always drinking. So like it's in your mind when she's saying all these things. And so you're like, is she drunk or is this really happening you know it's one of those because we've got boone who's like the love interest um and also an ex-police officer who we love and then we also have eli who has my whole heart who's like a little old man who lives next to her and he like gets her shopping for her and stuff and we just love eli eli is my favorite so that is the first two books so then the next book i read i'm gonna put them up in like a little thing the next book i read was ninth house and i rated this what did i rate this three and a half stars so i think the next book in this series is going to be really good like i've got high hopes for the next book we love alex and she can see dead people so she's got a lot of trauma from that she you know no one would like being able to see dead people floating around everywhere um and so when she was younger she got involved in the wrong crowd of like just drug dealers not great toxic ex-boyfriend and then she's involved in this big murder she's the only one that survives um, and when she's in like her hospital bed um she gets offered a place at yale like a free place at yale um to basically what she does is she oversees all the like secret societies um, and all like their weird rituals they carry out and it's really weird like they're all mega rich billionaire people doing these rituals to make more money it's really weird but it is good and it's just very confusing like, even how i'm describing it i know you're very confused she has a mentor and i've forgotten his name but he's fit he's a fit mentor he disappears and then everything just goes to shit everything's going wrong a girl's murdered so she's trying to figure out which society has like killed the girl and everyone's trying to cover it up people don't want her investigating this murder and that's basically what it is. it's kind of like a glorified murder mystery with like secret societies and dark academia that's what it is. And so I think the second book has the potential to be really good just because this book was kind of explaining all of like the world building, kind of getting the concept of what everything's about across. And I think the second book, because you've already kind of established that, the plot is just going to be amazing. The next book is The Confidence of Wildflowers, which I rated a four out of five. And like, where do I start? It's an age gap romance 
with just so much trauma like every page new trigger warning like if you're gonna read this book search up trigger warnings but Thea I imagine him as like what can I what do I I imagine him as Henry is it Cavill Cavill Henry Cavill what's it Henry I don't know Superman I imagine him as Superman that's how I imagined him in my head it's gonna rip your heart out it's gonna rip your heart out but it's a good book I really liked it I really liked it and I, I didn't think I would but I can't wait to read the next one just be ready for a lot of trauma a, a lot of trauma and then I read the Cruel Prince trilogy which so I rated the Cruel Prince 5 out of 5 the Wicked King 4 out of 5 and the Queen of Nothing 5 out of 5 so first of all love Jude love Carden we love Carden Taryn we love her but she's an idiot Vivian we love her but she's sometimes an idiot but like big sister energy um and Loke can go die quite honestly and we love Oak as well and then there's Maddox. Maddox for some reason you just can't hate him he fucks up so many times and he's such a morally grey person but for some reason I still love him and I don't know why like they never you know when you're reading a book and like they make them they don't make them bad enough for you to hate them he's one of those but yeah, it is a really good series. I don't, some people don't like it. I really liked it. It just make, it makes you feel like you're reading like a fairy tale. But I'm not going to talk too much about it because obviously I've got a whole reading vlog up for it. So go read that. Go read that. Go watch that. Then the last book I've got to talk about is The Ex Hex. So we've got Vivian and Reese. And Vivian and Reese had like a little summer fling when they were teenagers. And then Reese was like betrothed to another witch. I don't know and so they break up and she curses him drunkenly with her cousin and then he comes back a few years later to like reinforce the spells of this little town I don't really know but basically it's cutesy Halloween romance vibes and there's like a little bit of action in there but as you know there's a lot a lot happens but you're never like on edge you know everything's gonna be okay so if you just want like a cute cozy autumny read just read the x-hacks and you won't be disappointed it's such an easy read as well and when i rated that i think i already said but i rated it a four and a half out of five because i'm easily pleased and i really want to read the kiss curse next even though it's november so i feel like i shouldn't read it and i should wait till next year but i don't know i don't know what to do so they're all the books i read in october um i'm gonna do a quick little book haul because I have time but here we go okay so I got the dance of thieves because how, how beautiful is this book um oh my god it's floppy as well what more I don't even know what this is about but I know everyone loves it. I know Hayley loved it I trust Hayley's reading opinions and she really liked this and she said she got through it quite quick I think so I've got dance of thieves and then the other book how I am here the other one I got was oh, these holly vows which I'm also very excited for um but yeah I don't even really know what it's about but I just know apparently it's meant to be really good but beaten up at the bottom but we're not going to talk about it because I will get upset but like I don't know why I'm I know they're both only duologies but why am I starting new ones because I'm in the middle of Shatter Me you'll need to read um, a Court of Silver Flames. I don't know why, but I keep putting it off, even though I know I'm gonna love it. I keep putting it off. Then, there's some, like, little books that I got. Can I just put you down here? Yeah, you're staying down here. I only got two of the books, just from Asda, for, like, £4.50 each. So I got To Love Jason Thorne and Love on the Brain, because I need to read these. And because how cute are they? So I've got two new cute romances to read, and then two new fancy books to read. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching my video. I don't know what video I'm gonna film next, but You'll, I'll see you next week with some sort of video. So thanks for watching.